Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity weekly to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening with real estate. And I'm down here, it's beautiful. I mean, finally this is the weather we've been waiting all winter for and I'm down here at the lake in Whitby, it's awesome. Um, anyways, before we jump into the numbers, wanted to have a just a bit of a uh, conversation about some of the conversations I've had in the last couple of weeks. Now, the market is somewhat shifting. There's some change out there. And if you look at the, um, like some of the news headlines, they're all doom and gloom about the markets tanking. It's just, they're predicting doom and gloom. So the three conversations that I had in the last probably two weeks, one, we had a property on the market for 1.7 million. I had multiple offers on the, um, but a week, just a week after we listed it. And one of the offers came in at 2 million the other agent had said that the market tanked so bad there's no way we would get anywhere close to market value for it. That was one of them. So obviously that's the, the narrative she's given back to her buyer to, um, to, um, to share with her buyer what's happening in the marketplace. The other one was a condo I just sold on Wilson Road. We got a million dollars for it. It was listed for 950 and the agent, first showing, agent brings an offer wasn't acceptable and he actually said that the market shifted there's no way again we would get what we what we would hope to get and um, again I think what I'm what I'm kind of read between the lines is what's happening is there's news media spits out something about the market tanking uh, agents and buyers start to buy into it and then they try to apply that to the marketplace and what ends up happening in the three situations that I've just kind of been thinking about there was a buyer that that could have been their perfect home and they didn't buy it because of advice they were given from either the news media or the agent they're dealing with. So to me, just be careful where you get your information. That's why I try to do these three minute videos with really basic information to keep you in tune with what's going on. Now, here's something else as well. So when I see a headline that says prices falling, sales dropping, what they're doing is doing a blanket broad brushed approach, broad brushed approach to the entire market. But here, if you just look at this, Whitby. In Whitby, we have 170 detached homes for sale currently. At the end of February, we had 76. That tells me that if you're a home seller in Whitby in a detached home, you're probably gonna have to adjust your price to make it stand out so you get it sold when there's so many houses for sale. Oshawa semi-detached homes, there's 29 for sale right now. End of February, there was eight. That tells me that if you were a buyer in February, you had a more difficult time than a buyer today buying a semi. In Clarington townhomes, there's 16 for sale right now. There was 14 at the end of February. That tells me that, you know what? Sellers are still reaping good amounts of money for the houses, the townhouses that they're selling in Clarington because there's not that much competition. So let's just jump straight into the numbers. In the last seven days, we've had 332 homes come to market. That's up four from the week before. Conditionally sold, we've had 41 leave the market sold conditional. We've had 156 homes leave the market sold firm, which means 197 ho homes totally left the market. That's down 15 from the week before. The market is still good out there. All I'm gonna suggest is that when you gather information to make some decisions in real estate, make sure it's quality information and it's local. If you've got any questions, I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555 or you can catch me here at the bottom of the screen at um, the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week. Oshawa with being clear.